What's cracking, Bunny Ballers? My name is Bunny Tears, bringing you a very mentally disturbing video today. Just messing. What I've decided to do today, because of the introduction of always on technology with the new consoles, or at least that's the rumors, and the dying of secondhand games, I decided I was going to bring you something a bit different today. So, what I have here in my hand is, if you want to take a closer look, one, two, well, it's basically four pounds thirty-five and change that I just had. Didn't know what to do with it, so I'm going to take this four pounds thirty-five to my local second-hand electronics shop, which is just down the road. It's called CEX, and I'm going to see if I can buy a glorious second-hand Xbox 360 game for four pounds thirty-five that actually brings me some entertainment. This is me making a point. For all of these companies that want to turn their consoles into just online consoles and want to kill off secondhand gaming, I'm making a point right here. This change that I just found could be turned to happiness. And that is beautiful. Whereas this online shit is going to stop me from being able to do this with my spare change, and I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy any new consoles, which isn't true. You all know I'm going to buy it anyway, even without secondhand. But if you do have it in always online and I'm not allowed to buy secondhand games, then I guess there's just one thing to say. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'll bring back this game once I found it, and we'll see if we can actually have some fun with it. So, guys, I am back, and I've already been to CEX, as you can, as you can see, CEX. Now, what did I get with my four pounds thirty-five? I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you in advance that I spent more than four pounds thirty-five. I ended up spending four pounds fifty. However, that doesn't really matter because, well, you'll see why. Let me show you. First things first. This is why it doesn't matter. Because I bought 40 days and 40 nights for 50 pence. I had 35 pence to spare after I bought this game that I also have in this bag, which cost me four pounds. And I love this film, so I decided to get this as well, which is why it doesn't really matter that I went slightly over budget because this isn't a game, this is a film. So I'll put that to one side. What game did I get for my four pounds? Well, I got this. Red Faction Armageddon, for four pounds. Now, I played pretty much every other Red Faction there is. I enjoyed all of them, and I always wanted to play this game. However, I didn't really think it was worth paying full price for when it came out, because, yeah, I wanted to play it. However, not that much. So, the fact that this was four pounds in CEX is huge. It's huge. In fact, I will also prove it. Give me a second here. Okay, here we are. This is the receipt. Don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. Hopefully it'll adjust. But it basically says Red Faction Armageddon 1 at £4. And then, of course, 40 days and 40 nights for 50 pence. And the total £4.50. Now that I've bought this game for £4, chances are, if I like it, I'll buy the next one full price as soon as it comes out because it's a good game, right? We're going to go over to gameplay footage now. Oh, wow. Well, this is great. We're going to go over to gameplay footage um, just to have a look at exactly how good this game is and whether or not it was worth the £4 that I paid for it, which I'm sure it will be. So here we are, Mr. Game Companies. Have you ever heard the saying, the best things in life are free? Well, guess what? The second best things in life are cheap. I'm actually going to give you a real life example. True story, bro. I go to a supermarket. I buy a bottle of milkshake. It tastes good when I leave the supermarket. Otherwise, why would I buy it? It doesn't make sense. I buy it because it tastes good, right? If I go in the same supermarket and it's two for the price of one, or the milkshakes are half price, I'm going to buy two of those milkshakes. And even if I only drink one and give one to a friend, that milkshake that I drink is going to taste beautiful. My mouth is going to be going, 
Oh my god, this is amazing. How, how did I live without this in my mouth all the time, no homo? Oh, it's so nice, it's so tasty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the next time I go to the supermarket and that milkshake's full price, my body's gonna force me to buy it full price because I felt so good about how it tasted and how much it cost. I'm essentially saying it's a full price milkshake that costs half price. It's a full price tasting milkshake that I only paid half price for. And my body recognizes that. My brain recognizes that. Guess what? The same thing happens with all games. I buy this Red Faction game. I buy it for four pounds. I know other people have bought it for full price. Therefore, when I'm playing it, my mind is saying to me, my God, this is the greatest game that any human has ever played. It's amazing. It's going to be my favorite game forever. And that means the next time you bring out a Red Faction, I don't think you are bringing it out anymore, but the next time, if you were to bring out another Red Faction, I'd buy that shit full price from the get-go. Not only would I buy it full price, but I'd buy every Avatar item. I'd buy every Xbox theme. I'd buy every DLC you put out. Because I love that game so much, and I respect the fact that I was able to buy it cheaper than other people may have bought it for. Also, how is the pricing system going to work without used games? I guarantee you right now, if I go into the game store, I can find you a game that's maybe a month old, but is a lot cheaper than it was on the day of its release. Now, the reason that game stores are able to do this is because they have information they can use to their advantage, evaluate and break down in regards to the pricings. They can say, right, this game is a month old. 50% of the people who bought it have already sold it back to us. Therefore, it hasn't got a large lifespan. We should reduce the price so that more people will still buy it even though it hasn't got the lifespan that say a game like Skyrim has. This happened with the new Hitman. The price of the new Hitman dropped and I still bought it because it dropped. I like Hitman but I wasn't going to buy it at full price because I knew for a fact that the life cycle on it wasn't very large. Not only that, but you're removing the ability for friends to recommend a game. I, I just don't understand it. I mean, 80% of the games I have in this room right now, I bought because a friend borrowed me their copy. I liked it, so I went out and bought my own copy. That isn't going to be possible if your consoles are always online. It's going to be like, I'll put in my friend's game. Oh, please put in your code, otherwise you can't play the fucking game. Oh, I can't play the fucking game because I don't have a code that I can use that my friend hasn't already used. Maybe you'll give the option of buying a code online. So I'll buy a code online, I won't like the game, I won't want to buy it, and I've just wasted my money. And then I hate you. I hate you. I hate you because you made me waste my money on a game that I wasn't going to buy anyway. You can't take that away from us. You can't do it. I will lose all respect for you if you do that to me. The way your pricing system is going to have to work if it's always online is that the game companies themselves are going to have to set the price of the game that they made. In what world does that make sense? It doesn't make sense. The person who made the game is obviously going to think it's the greatest game that's ever made. So they're going to be setting their prices at £50 a pop, $70 a pop, every single time. And the only way we're going to be able to find out if it's actually worth that amount of money is by buying it and I, I I can't explain in words enough how pissed I will be if I spend 50 pounds slash 70 dollars on a game that ends up not being worth 50 pounds slash 70 dollars in fact if you made me do that I would make a point of never buying that game again not only that game but I'd look up the game studio that made it and I'd never buy any of their games again. The perfect example of that is if I go onto the Xbox Live Marketplace right now, there isn't a single old game that I would buy from you because they're all far too expensive. And you think that if you eliminate the competition, that's going to mean that I'm going to buy from you. No, that's not what it means. If I want to buy Call of Duty 4, I'm not going to buy it off the marketplace because it's five to six years old and you're still charging £40 slash $50 for it. That is just dumb. It's just stupid. Who wants to spend that amount of money on a game that's that old? 
Although, to be fair, I'd probably spend about £150 on Call of Duty 4 just because it's the best game ever made. It was a bad example, but you know what I mean. Old games should be cheaper, and I don't want you being in control of how much the old games are going to cost because, according to your track record, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know how much old games should cost. You've got no idea. No idea. But this is basically the summary. Listen up. We love you. We all love you games companies, we really do. You've made our lives a much better place. The things you do, I couldn't even dream of doing. The things you create, the worlds you create on your own, the entire planet, stories, people, everything is beautiful. But this is one problem, and it's not a small problem, it's a big problem. Because the entire beauty and community side of gaming is being taken away when you say to me that I can't borrow a friend's game. Or when you say to me that, oh, we're going to control all of the prices. So please, do me a favor. Do yourselves a favor. Don't get rid of used games. Because, just to make my point, Red Faction Arm begins the best game ever made. Alright then, buddy boilers, as per usual, if you enjoyed the video, hit up a like. If you haven't subscribed already, then please do. But more importantly, I give every single person who's watching this video permission to put it wherever the hell they want. You can give this to anyone. You can tweet at all the game companies you've ever heard of. You can rip this off of YouTube and post it on your own channel. You can do whatever you want just to get the message to the game companies that we don't want this. You're all beautiful people. Thank you for watching.